Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. Today, physicist Wal Thornhill begins a series of reports on some remarkably significant recent discoveries in the space sciences. Like many dozens of previous discoveries we've reported on in this series, we see stunning affirmation of the predictions of the Electric Universe. A foundational prediction was outlined in the monograph, The Electric Universe, written by Wal Thornhill and Dave Talbot. In the book's synopsis on the electrical formation of stars, Thornhill and Talbot wrote, Plasma physicists argue that stars are formed by an electromagnetic pinch effect on widely dispersed gas and dust. The pinch is created by the magnetic force between parallel current filaments and a part of the huge electric currents flowing inside a galaxy. Scientists using the Herschel Space Observatory have observed in unprecedented detail filamentary structures throughout the Milky Way galaxy. A recent phys.org report states, ESA's Herschel Space Observatory has been a true game changer. One of the key aspects that emerged from these observations is the presence of a filamentary network nearly everywhere in our galaxy's interstellar medium. The picture that is emerging is that these structures are closely linked to the formation of stars. The principal investigator of the survey states, The greatest surprise was the ubiquity of filaments in these nearby clouds and their intimate connection with star formation. Wal Thornhill explains the enormous significance of this discovery for the Electric Universe theory. In a few weeks, the Electric Universe Conference for 2015 will begin in Phoenix, Arizona. Supportive evidence for the Electric Universe paradigm arrives almost daily, and we find each new discovery is either predicted by the Electric Universe model, or else provides more detail. This is the mark of a more correct theory than the present Big Bang model of the Universe, where surprises are routine and great effort is concentrated on force-fitting the data to consensus beliefs. In the last few days, three important discoveries have been made at three very different scales that show we live in an electric universe. First, it was reported that observations with ESA's Herschel Space Observatory have revealed that our galaxy is threaded with filamentary structures on every length scale. From nearby clouds hosting tangles of filaments a few light years long, to gigantic structures stretching hundreds of light years across the Milky Way spiral arms, they appear to be truly ubiquitous, so says the report. It goes on. The greatest surprise was the ubiquity of filaments in these nearby clouds and their intimate connection with star formation. But there's more. These observations reveal that filaments, which may extend to several light years in length, appear to have a universal width of about one third of a light year. This suggests that something fundamental is lurking underneath. End of quote. Of course there's something fundamental lurking underneath. It's called electricity. On Earth, a lightning bolt of constant width can stretch for miles. That researchers have no idea what they're looking at is highlighted by the reference to dense interstellar fibres and the desperate attempt at a solution. Turbulent motions of the interstellar gas and dust create an intricate web of filamentary structures. This is a conspicuous example of force-fitting the observations to century-old, pre-space age beliefs about an electrically sterile universe. Notably, the most prominent filaments are seen drawing matter from their surroundings through a network of smaller filaments. Smaller coronal filaments are also characteristic of electric discharges in plasma. The dysfunctional nature of over-specialized science is highlighted by this report, since plasma cosmologists including Nobel Prize winner Hans Alfein, demonstrated empirically decades ago that spiral galaxies like the Milky Way are formed like glowing Catherine wheels strung axially along intergalactic current filaments. Such unexplained galactic alignments have been remarked upon. And stars are formed by powerful long-range electromagnetic dust and gas accretion along the smaller power filaments threading the spiral arms of the galaxy. But astronomers don't attend plasma cosmology conferences, with one notable exception. The radio astronomer, Gerrit Verschur. You see, these cosmic power filaments radiate in the radio, microwave and infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. So it was, some years ago, that Verschur teamed up with a leading plasma cosmologist, Anthony Peratt, to show unequivocally that current filaments, like those Herschel has now confirmed, exist near the Sun. 
priority for this discovery should go to these scientists. Characteristically, the report ends with a claim that despite this surprise, everything is under control. And I quote, An increasingly coherent picture is now emerging from combining the analysis of these data with predictions from theory and numerical simulations as astronomers continue to study the physical processes underlying the fascinating origin of stars and planets. End of quote. But computer simulations are worthless when the theoretical concepts being modelled are incorrect. At incalculable cost, the Big Bang universe has become a computerised virtual reality game. Anything you can imagine can appear real. Such an infinitely adjustable cosmology is unfalsifiable and therefore unscientific. For continuous updates on space news from the Electric Universe, stay tuned to thunderbolts.info.